She was stranded for 286 days, which was over nine months in space. The hardest part is not know exactly when we're coming back. But she didn't lose hope. As the eight-day mission turned into an extended stay, she celebrated festivals in space and shared laughs with the crew members. I have the unique opportunity to celebrate Diwali. After a long-awaited return, she arrived home all smiles, waving and giving a thumbs up. Let me tell you how it all started. On 5th June 2024, Indian-American astronaut Sunida Williams flew to space for the third time from Florida's Cape Canaveral Space Station along with Butch Wilmore, commander of the flight test mission. We're just happy as can be to be up in space. On 6th June 2024, the 59-year-old made history as the first woman to pilot a crewed spacecraft, NASA's Boeing Starliner, on its maiden voyage. They successfully docked at the International Space Station about 26 hours after launch. Williams and Wilmore were welcomed by the ringing of a bell, which was an old ISS tradition. We have another family up here, which is just awesome. She danced her heart out in zero gravity and hugged her crew members at the International Space Station. It's such a great welcome, little dance party, and that's the way to get things going. Williams, along with the crew members, was supposed to spend about eight days in space assisting with various tests and conducting scientific experiments. We've had opportunities to do all sorts of science, uh, space walks. It's a varied and pretty awesome, actually, opportunity to do something different every single day. But little did they know they would end up stranded in space. After they arrived, helium leaks, which can disrupt spacecraft stability, and problems with the propulsion system, which helps move a spacecraft through space, were found in the Starliner, making it unsafe for them to return. Hey, we're coming, we're coming back before long, so you know, don't do, make all those plans without me. <laughs> you know? In August 2024, NASA acknowledged that astronauts return would be delayed due to these technical issues. All of that uncertainty, I think, is probably the most difficult part. By next month, the space agency deemed it too risky, so they decided to bring the Starliner back to Earth without the astronauts to make space for other spacecraft and to keep the ISS running smoothly. They decided to bring them back using a SpaceX vehicle instead. Our core value is safety. The astronauts adjusted to their longer stay by working on over 150 science experiments and completing over 900 hours of research. They celebrated festivals just Christmas with a Christmas tree and caps Thanksgiving with a special space appropriate menu and Diwali. So from all of us to all of you, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Happy, Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. They also spend messages from space on special occasions. To every single athlete in the Olympic Games, God Godspeed. In an interview with NBC Nightly News, Williams said people are worried about us. Really don't worry about us. We are feeling good, walking out, eating right. We have a lot of fun up here too. Williams also shared deeds about her meals in space, saying that she enjoys dishes such as Turkish fish stew with olives and rice. She reassured the public that she is getting proper nutrition during her extended stay. She said, I get plenty of food and I'm in good shape. But on 17 December 2024, NASA announced another delay after the astronauts were initially supposed to return on a SpaceX flight, which was scheduled for February 2025. It's been a roller coaster for them, probably a little bit more so than for us. You know, we're here, we have a mission. NASA consistently reassured the public that astronauts' safety was their top priority. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson said, we will bring them home when it is safe to do so. We are in no rush and we want to make sure every system is working perfectly. This has not been an easy decision, but it is absolutely the right one. NASA assured the astronauts' needs were met, citing regular arrivals of cargo spacecraft carrying food, fuel and supplies. They added that the space station is well stocked with everything the crew needs, including food, water, clothing and oxygen. These delays then gained political attention in February 2025 when U.S. President Trump and Tesla CEO Elon Musk blamed former U.S. President Joe Biden, who was in the power at the time, for abandoning the astronauts in space for political reasons. You know, we have two people up there that Biden and Kamala left up there. Musk said that Biden rejected his offer to bring the Starliner crew home because it would have made Trump look good. But NASA officials said their decisions were based on flight scheduling and the space station needs. One of the astronauts said, we don't feel abandoned, we don't feel stranded, we don't feel stuck. For now, this is our home, but we'll be happy to come home to the United States of America. On 8th March 2025, 
NASA confirmed that Crew-9, including Williams and Wilmore, will return to Earth in the SpaceX Crew-9 Dragon spacecraft after the launch of Crew-10, which was the replacement crew. The most incompetent president in our history has allowed that to happen to you, but this president won't let it happen. We're going to get them out. We're coming up to get you. I see the woman with the wild hair, good solid head of hair she's got. There's no kidding, there's no games with her hair. On 17th March 2025, four crew members of NASA SpaceX Crew 10 mission arrived at the International Space Station. She smiled, she hugged, she grooved as it paved the way for her long-awaited return. Thank you for uh, tuning in this early morning. It was a, a wonderful day. Back in 2023, NASA astronaut Frank Rubio spent 371 days aboard the ISS after his return was delayed due to a coolant leak. He set a new record for the longest single space flight by an American. Although this record was broken by two Russian cosmonauts in September 2024 by spending 374 days aboard the ISS. According to a retired NASA astronaut, there was no special overtime salary for astronauts. They continue to earn their regular pay with NASA covering their food and living expenses on the ISS. The only extra payment they get is a small daily allowance for incidentals, which was reportedly $4, that is 347 rupees per day. In William's case, she held the highest rank in the US government pay scale, earning a base salary of over $125,000 to $162,000, which was more than 1 crore to 1 crore 41 lakh rupees per year. Now, for her nine-month stay on the ISS, their prorated salary ranged from over $93,000 to $122,000, which was around 81 lakh to 1 crore rupees. With an additional 1 lakh rupees in incidental pay, their total earnings for the mission were between nearly $95,000 and $123,000, which was around 82 lakh to 1 crore rupees. On 19th March 2025, Williams, along with Wilmore, splashed down on Earth off the coast of Florida after a 17-hour journey. But she would also need time to readapt to Earth's gravity, which can sometimes take weeks or even months. Initially, while she was in space, one of her videos went viral on social media, sparking concerns over her health by noticing the changes in her appearance. To which she responded saying, the changes were not caused by weight loss, but by fluid shift, where bodily fluids shift upwards toward the face and upper body. When you don't have gravity pulling your fluids down, everything moves upwards. Your face puffs up, your limbs tend to get thinner. So astronauts lose bone density and muscle mass with about 1% bone loss per month making their bones more brittle and prone to fractures. That's why they follow a strict exercise regimen during space missions. Upon Williams landing on Earth, she may face health challenges such as impaired vision due to the fluid shift to the upper body. She could also face weightless tongue and baby feet, which is a condition wherein the soles of their feet become soft like a baby's feet due to lack of friction after spending months in space, which makes it painful for them to walk when they are back on Earth. That's why we saw Williams being carried away on a stretcher after her landing on Earth. Williams and Wilmore would undergo NASA's 45-day post-mission rehabilitation program to help them recover from the physical effects of their extended stay in space. I think the one thing I, I, I really get from being up here is uh, we take life a little too seriously on Earth. 